Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio and welcome to the fourth tutorial of the UI and Game Art for Beginners series. In this tutorial we will be learning how to make a sword in Adobe Illustrator. Create a new document that is 600 pixels in height and width and use your rectangle tool which you can access by hitting M on your keyboard and draw out a rectangle the size of your artboard. Now we want to remove the border and we're going to change the fill to a dark gray. I'm going to use 38, 38, 38. Open your layers panel Rename layer 1 to background and lock the layer. Make a new layer above the background and rename it blade. Make sure that you have your rectangle tool selected and click once on the artboard. You want to make a rectangle that is 30 pixels wide and 280 pixels high. Now fill the rectangle with a light gray. I'm using DB, DB, DB. And use the Add Anchor Point tool, which you can get by hitting the plus on your keyboard. And add an anchor point to the top center of the rectangle. Use the Direct Selection tool, which you can get to by hitting A on your keyboard and move the new anchor point up 50 pixels. You can do this by holding shift and hitting your up arrow key five times. Now we need to offset the blade. So go to object, path, offset path. We want to offset the blade by negative seven pixels. Then fill the inset part of the blade with a lighter gray. I'm going to use EF, EF, EF. Make a copy of the inset part of the blade, Control C, and paste it in back, Control B. And use your right arrow key and move the copy over two pixels. Open up your transparency panel and change the blending mode to multiply. I'm going to zoom in so we can see this a little bit better. Now we need to grab the original inset part of the blade again, make a copy of it, control C paste it in back, control B. This time use your left arrow key and move the copy over by two pixels. Open your transparency panel and change the blending mode to screen. Now click on the pasteboard so you have everything deselected and you're going to need to zoom in I'm going to zoom in about 400%. Want to use your lasso tool, which you can get to by hitting Q on your keyboard, and select all three of the anchor points of these blades. Just draw a crude circle around them. Then make sure you have align to selection chosen, and you want to hit horizontal align center and vertical line center. Now we can zoom back out. Now use the line segment tool which you can use get to by using the slash on your keyboard and draw a line down the center of the inset. Hold shift down and you can actually make a straight line doing this. Change 
change your border to white. And then go ahead and open the stroke panel. And we want to change profile to width profile 3. Now we're going to make the hilt. So go ahead and lock the blade layer and make a new layer above it and, and name it hilt. Use your rectangle tool, which is M on the keyboard. And we want to make a rectangle that is 90 pixels wide and 10 pixels high. Remove the stroke and fill the rectangle with a blue gray color. I'm using 657F7D. Make a copy of the rectangle, control C, and paste it in back, control B. Then use your down arrow and move the copy down two pixels. Then fill this copy with a darker color of the blue-gray. I'm using 526664. Make a copy of the original rectangle. Control C, paste it in back, Control B, and then use your up arrow and move the copy up two pixels and fill it with a lighter blue gray color. I'm using 728E8B. Now use your rectangle tool, M on the keyboard and make a rectangle that is 7 pixels wide and 23 pixels tall. And we want to fill the rectangle with a dark blue-gray color. I'm using 42514F. Then align the rectangle with the left edge of the three previous horizontal pieces. Make a copy of this rectangle and move it to the left of the original vertical rectangle. Then resize this copy and make it 5 pixels wide and 18 pixels high. Then select both of these rectangles and make a copy, control C, and paste it in front, control F. Then move the copies over to the right side of the hilt. If you hold shift, they'll keep it, them in line. Now we need to rotate these copies. So go to Object, Transform, Rotate, 180 degrees. Select all of the sections of the hilt and group them together. Object, Group, and then align the hilt to the bottom of the blade. Then lock your hilt layer and make a new layer above it and call it Grip. Use your rectangle tool, which is M on your keyboard, and make a rectangle that is 30 pixels wide and 85 pixels high. Then fill it with the same blue-gray color as the hilt, 
I used 657F7D. Make sure you have your rectangle tool selected and make another rectangle. This one we want it to be 50 pixels wide and 15 pixels high. Then we're going to fill this with the same dark blue gray color we used in the hilt. I use 42514F. Then align this rectangle to the bottom of the other rectangle that we just made. Then make a copy of this rectangle, control C, and paste it in front, control F. Then resize this copy to 35 pixels wide and 10 pixels high. And then move the copy down below the rectangle that we had just made a, this a copy from. Now use the rectangle tool, again M on the keyboard, make a rectangle that is 5 pixels wide and 85 pixels tall, and fill it with a dark gray color. I'm just going to use this 42514F, then align it to the left side of the rectangle at the top of the grip. Then make a copy of the rectangle by using Alt and Shift and align it to the right side of the grip. Select all the parts of the grip and group them together, Object, Group, and then align the grip to the bottom of the hilt. And I'm going to unlock everything, except for the background. Zoom out. And grab everything and just center it on the back on the background. And there you have your sword. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.